Hi there, guys, and welcome to this week's edition of Listed. I'm your host, Champagne Charlie, and today we'll be going through the list of top five most violent wrestlers. So let's get the ball rolling. Number five, Necros Butcher. Necros Butcher has been tearing himself and others up over the, on the independent circuits for nearly 30 years. He's probably sadly one of the most least known people when it comes to hardcore wrestling, but he has left a trail of bodies in his wake during his time. Mostly affiliated with Combat Zone Wrestling, Necros Butcher will use everything, including the kitchen sink, when it comes to his matches. He'll use it all, broken glass, barbed wire, thumbtacks, thumbtack, Tables, ladders, chairs, you name it, he's probably used it. He, he's not afraid to bleed and to make other bleed along with him. Even scoring a small, a very small cameo role in the 2008 film The Wrestler, where he used a staple gun during that match. Necros Butcher has, has shown no signs of slowing down, so God knows what's going to happen as he continues. Number 4, Abdullah the Butcher. From one butcher to another, Abdul the Butcher has been ruling the roost in pro wrestling for over 40 years. He, he, however, he claims himself to not be a real wrestler. He uses karate and weapons. He is a fighter, as he calls himself. The one thing that Abdul the Butcher, though, is mostly known for is that infamous fish fork that he carries around with him in his tights. He will use it in people's eyes, in people's throats, stick it in their mouth. He will use that fork by any means necessary to win a match. And look at the damage that he has done to himself over the years, including the scars that are on his head. Abdul the Butcher is also a WWE Hall of Famer, but rumour has it that he sold the ring because he cared not about WWE at all. Number three, Sabu. The, he is the suicidal, homicidal, genocidal, death-defying Sabu. Sabu has been going for nearly 20-something years now. Starting his career in FTW and then later on in the infamous ECW, Sabu was absolutely mesmerizing for a man of his age he could do some incredible stuff including the flips the moonsaws including incorporating chairs into the flips as well but if you look at his body you see how he has paid the price over the years on one occasion sabu even tore his bicep open with barbed wire and then just stuck it together with tape and continued with the match it goes to show the man's love for his sport and his craft and he is still not slowing down, as he is still available for bookings to, even today. Number two, Mick Foley. Everyone knows Mick Foley is one of the greatest entertainers with his free faces. But, if you look at the matches themselves, you can't deny this man has a taste for violence, making himself bleed and others bleed over the years, including using his trusty barbed wire baseball bat, or 2 by 4 wrapped in barbed wire over the years. Mick Foley has sacrificed so much over the years, but it goes to show how much of an icon he actually is. Mick Foley unfortunately cannot do these things any, anymore, and to be honest, I don't think we want, we'd want him to, considering how much he has given to the sport of pro wrestling. Honourable Mentions Terry Funk Tommy Dreamer John Moxley The Sandman Abyss Raven Bruiser Brody. And number one, our top pick, New Jack. Now, even though most of these wrestlers on the list probably do the, the, the violent stuff they do just for the job, New Jack will do it even if he damn well feels like it. One thing in the world of pro wrestling is this. Do not piss New Jack off. You only have to ask the members of the Kulas family for that. Mass Transit Incident, available on YouTube, and also what he did to pro wrestling Vic Grimes. He tasered him in the neck and then threw him off the top of a scaffold during the match. New Jack will fuck you up if you try if you piss him off. But even though he is, some ways say, psychotic, he is a great wrestler as well, always pushing the boundary in every single match that he does, and still, no signs of slowing down. It is like, it's like it's a competition to him to see how messed up he can, he can get, or how he can mess somebody up. And there we have it. That is a list of top five 
most violent wrestlers. Like, share, subscribe to Talking Crap so you can see more content soon. Thank you for joining me. I'm Champagne Charlie. Have a good one.